I'm Charlie here on the Kids Hub Media Network live from our monthly 2014 broadcast from the Microsoft Store in the Freehold Raceway Mall. Here with me is my friend Gabby who was interested in joining Kids Hub and here's a little bit about her. So Gabby, why don't you tell about yourself? Okay. Hi, I'm Gabby. I am 12 years old. I go to Carl Sandburg Middle School. I am in sixth grade and I enjoy a few, a few things. Some of the things I enjoy or are dance, cheer, and gymnastics, even though I'm not good at them. Um, I like, I like doing tap dance. Um, I'm almost on the advanced level at my tap, at my tap dance school. And, um, I'm on the performance team, which is like when you perform in front of other people. Um, my favorite color is purple. Um, my favorite food is almost everything my mom makes. Um, I am a honor student, well, like an honor student in, um, school. So, Gabby, what do you have with us today? Okay, um, I have my Kids Hub Appreciation article, which is why I would like to join Kids Hub. And I also have um, my dance article, which is all about dance. So, if you were to join Kids Hub, why would you really want to do it? Why would you want to join Kids Hub? Well, I would enjoy being it because I would ma- I would learn from it. Like, I would learn new things and new athletes, new sports. And what and in my, in my reference, Kids Hub basically explains that in an easier way that kids can relate to. And ours, you were saying about, like, you know, your favorite things was dance. Why don't mm-hmm. you tell us about, like, you know, a little bit more about your dance studio? Okay, so at my dance studio, they have different levels. And um, right now, I am on a level three level, which is almost too advanced. Um, there's teams now. There's a dance team, which competes. And there's a performance team, which I'm on, which does not compete. They just perform and advertise. That's very interesting, Gabby. And thank you for being here with us and joining Kids Hub. We really are look- looking forward to all these future broadcasts here with you. Well, thank you. Um, I have an article about dance. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's called the the world and culture of dance. So it says dance is a type of art that generally involves movement of the body, often often rhythmic, and is performed to music. Dance has an impact in many cultures as a form of expression or ideas to tell a story. Dance may also be regarded from a relationship for humans and animals, and such as bee dances. Mm-hmm. There are styles, different styles of dance, including the most popular ballet, contemporary, jazz, hip-hop, and tap. All, out of these, I mostly enjoy tap and ballet, which I take. Also, to be an outstanding performer, it is always helpful to have, a great, to have great technique and flexibility. Having these important attributes can help you perform and be a professional dancer. Thank you, Gabby. And you are right. Dance is very important in life. It shows emotions and expression of yourself. Up next for us is Kahim Gibbs and Omar Duffus for Tech Talk. Good morning, evening, and night, my interweb friends. We are coming at you live from the Microsoft Store here in Freehold Raceway Mall. Hope you guys are all having a good day. It's me, co-host Omar Duffus, and let's get started with our schedule. First, we'll be talking about our experiences of entering high school, and then we should be talking about what would be better in certain games. All right, so my experience entering high school, well, it was quite hard doing the applications during school because there wasn't a lot of time to, there was, I didn't have a lot of time to do my applications. And visiting, you can miss stuff in school, so it's hard to do things for the school next year while actually completing your year. Not to scare anybody, but my experience was also really tough. Balancing schoolwork and also applications, it was really hard to find time to do things for myself without actually losing time to actually do my work. But if you stay committed and you pull through, you can do it. Yeah. So now, our topic today will be what would be better, in which we talk about popular games and how they could be better. Starting off the list is Clash of Clans. A mobile game for Android or iPhone device. Well, to start off the game, you'll get a plot. And you'll be able to build on that plot by adding defenses, buildings, and other 
and other things. Well, but more on this after a short break. games where today we'll be talking about our thoughts on game improvements first on the list is clash of clans a mobile game for android and apple well when you start the game you'll be able to get a plot and you'll be able to build on it and you can also have defenses and buildings to help you win There's so just imagine this having a small box with iron walls, then adding wizard towers, archer towers, cannons, or even mortars in your base to defend against other multiple online players that come to attack you and to raid you, and you have to secure your loot and your town hall or else you'll lose the battle. Yeah, this game is really great, but there's some problems that I have with it. Well, the more le the higher level you are, it takes really long to build. So the game could get quite boring. And I would like to see an improvement in clans. Because clans, you'll be able to play with your friends. Right now, as of this point, they released an update for Clan Wars. The update can enable you to actually have a war with uh, another clan in the area. But I think they should take inspiration off of another game, Good Game Empire. Which is a similar game in that aspect for... A brow it's a browser based game, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can send materials from your clan or from your one of your clan members to another member. That's pretty cool if you ask me. If I'm in need of some gold for another upgrade, I can be like, hey man, you wanna send me some gold? It's pretty nice. The game is fun, action packed, but having a better battling system would make it a little smoother since when I go to school and my phones in the school phone box, I can still be raided, even if I'm offline. So when I come on and I'm raided by someone that's been playing since the game has been released, I don't feel pretty good because I lose a lot of loot and trophies. But it's the best when you come back on Clash of Clans and you earn like 30 trophies. Well, next for my personal favorite, Minecraft. Like I play Minecraft like every day. It's a pretty fun game, if you ask me. Minecraft, it's sort of hard to explain how it is. You kind of have to play it to get it. But I'll try to give you a little gist. Imagine going into a world, not knowing anything about the world, and having to explore, punching trees down with your bare hands, making those trees into crafting tables, sticks, and other blocks to turn into pickaxes, axes, swords, or even armor for yourself to defend against the countless undead of the world. Well, I'll love to see more in this game. Like, there's a little bit of problems. One problem being, it gets kind of boring when the game goes along a bit. See, when you played Minecraft for a long time, you realize that the mobs are not as interesting as when you first started. So, when you get into the game, imagine this. A giant zombie. One that can easily crush your house and having you to rebuild. Now that would be a challenge. I would love to see a change in dogs. Like, I would like dogs to different type of breeds of dogs. And dogs, act like, different type of dogs that you can ride. I would love to see that you can ride your dog and fight battle against these action-packed mobs. What even, like, what if you can give items to your dog or let them, like, smell the item or something to track down where you want to go? See, if I give, like, a sapling to my dog, he'll find the nearest tree. That would be awesome. That would make dogs more useful. Not saying that they're not useful now, but this can add a lot of new things to the game, even with the upcoming 1.8 update. 
And another thing are cats. I would love a, for cats to be more like lions and tigers and add those to the biomes, like the jungle biome. I would like to see like um, more different type of animals. Like they need to add more mobs, like more marine life mobs so you can, so the game can become more dangerous. So in the 1.8 update, one update is to the end dimension. The end dimension is where you, normally by yourself, go into a mysterious portal, fully equipped with your best armor, usually diamond and enchanted, to fight the Ender Dragon. Now this thing is not really a joke. This thing can tank a lot of your hits, and you need the best of the best to defeat this thing. But once you defeat it, you win the game, and you can't face it again. So imagine if you can reface it, or face, say, multiple of them once you get even better at the game, or even a new boss in, in, like, in like a new thing. It would be so awesome. Like the common mobs in the area are Endermen. Imagine like an Ender Giant or a Mutant Enderman. That would be insane. Well, Minecraft could really should add more mods to their game. With them, There's a mod called the Mutant Cre Creature Mod. Which makes um, mutant creatures like m mutant creepers, zombies, endermen, those type of mobs. So that'll be cool if Minecraft added more mobs to actually the vanilla game. Another place in Minecraft is the Nether Dimension. Just imagine somewhere you're waking up, fire everywhere, lava underneath you. You can't mine per se. Because if you mine too far down, you'll fall in lava and lose all your precious stuff. But after a while, the nether doesn't really have a use besides getting netherrack, nether brick, or even lava. So what if you have ores in the nether, or more monsters to fight? There is one awesome monster in the nether, the gas. It's pretty much a giant box that shoots fireballs. That's really, really awesome. You also forgot about my favorite block, quartz. That's also found in the nether which can give you a lot of XP, way more XP than mining coal. But unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. We'll see you guys in the next broadcast with some more, what would you, what would you call it? Uh, what do we, what? Yeah, what will, what will we like to see in video games? Kids Hub Radio. Don't go away.